guys and welcome back to another video um today's video is going to be kind of like a vlog um i'm basically doing a surprise graduation um like a graduation party for my fiance he'll actually be getting his results today and um he still hasn't got them but um it's like five o'clock already so he'll probably be getting them in the next hour or two and i've basically planned a whole graduation party for him for tomorrow i invited his family so and it's my family as well so it's not too many people what i also did was um i planned like an after party for his friends because i don't want to mix too many people together so it's going to be like a busy day tomorrow so um i made favors i made so many things but i just thought i'll take you guys along with me show you how i planned the graduation party and um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video at the moment currently i'm in the process of making the cake i know i know i don't know why i decided to try and make the cake but that's what i'm going to be doing i've also got i ordered 12 cupcakes um from some lady on instagram um i'll just put her name here um and i've ordered six no 12 cupcakes from her so if the cake goes wrong it's fine we have cupcakes just in case so yeah i'll just get on with the video basically so this is the cake batter so batter is that what's called i don't know this is the cake um thingies so <laughs> i'm just gonna like mix it all together basically and yeah that's it It's a whole mess at the moment guys cake number one is here cake number two is in the oven but it's kind of gone like in the middle it's kind of gone flat which is annoying but it's fine i'm gonna cut them both in half and it's gonna be like four layers this is the fondant my best friend here is helping me roll it out bless her this one is very firm these ones are a bit softer but yeah so this is the top of the hat um we're gonna figure out how to do the bottom later this is going to be the scroll so we're going to try to do the easy bits first and then we'll see how it goes after so i've just finished doing this the scroll look how cute that looks this actually came out really nice i'm so happy with it just going to figure this out see how to do the bottom but this is the top i just need to do the you know the top part of that I need to figure that out but you know what it's just a work in progress i have never done this before and i really don't know what i'm doing i have not watched any youtube videos so i'm literally going off my own you know creativity but yeah <laughs> i'll keep you updated guys so that's the hat and um script when you're done it's not looking the greatest but i mean i'll be honest with you i'm so tired i have so much other stuff to do so i'm gonna leave it and come back to it later that's kind of like the best i can do at the moment um considering i'm not a baker but i don't think it's too bad i really like this this i don't even know to be honest with you it's just what i have i don't know he's just gonna have to you know appreciate is that but um for a first try i don't think it's too bad so i'm just gonna clean all this mess up and um move on to making jelly cups next I basically finished decorating I'll show you properly the decorations but basically I came back to the kitchen and my cat had taken this so I just redid it and I feel like it looks better like this than it did before um, but yeah I feel like the hat's a bit lumpy and bumpy but I mean it is what it is I'm really happy with this it will have to do but I put fondant on like cardboard so I just need to like cover so that it could stay flat if you get what I mean um, otherwise it would be like flopping so I just need to cover a bit of the cardboard and yeah, I'm just going to get the cake. This is the second cake, which kind of uh, dipped in the middle. And that's because I pierced it too early. I opened the oven too early, but it's fine. The other one looks good, and I'm just going to half them. I mean, you'll see as I go along anyways. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this. Sorry, I forgot to vlog again. But basically, um, I put... These are two cakes, by the way. I didn't cut them in half. But basically, I put strawberries and caramel. It's like ready-made caramel salted caramel and i just put it in here and it looks so good it looks so so good and like inside where the bump came i just put it like here so it can't show so yeah it looks good so i'm literally so happy alhamdulillah it came out 
I'm really, really happy with it. I just hope this tastes good. I've tried it. I think it tastes fine, but I don't know. But anyways, basically, I'm just in the process of sticking the Kit Kats. I have a few more. I have uh, two more packets of them. Hopefully, I have enough to go all the way around. I'm sure I do. And I have a gold ribbon to wrap around. Um, the top, I'm trying to get it as flat as I can, but it's just so hard. Like, I don't have anything to get proper flat. And I'm just so tired, guys. Like, it's getting late. And I'm just tired. And I actually haven't even eaten all day, to be honest. I had some um, cheese with bread. And that's actually it. Um, but I'm just so tired. Like, I'm not even hungry or anything. I'm quite thirsty. So I might just have a drink. But I still need to make the mojitos as well. But I'm going to try and finish this and just get it in the fridge. Um, but yeah, I have cupcakes to pick up as well. Tomorrow morning. Um, but oh, I'm going to have such a long night i just want to make sure everything's finished um i need to do my nails as well they're all chipped so yeah wish me luck guys i'll get back to you in a bit good morning guys um hi good morning it's the next day um uh, yesterday night the last thing i did um was the mojitos i didn't show you that but i'll show you today and i went to run some errands i went to the post office let me put the phone down so i can proper rant because this is gonna be a rant guys okay I went to the post office and I also went to pick up my face is a bit red because it's hot outside. It's literally it's 34 degrees, okay? But anyways, and it's gonna get hot, it's gonna get to 36 because it's still one o'clock now. But anyways, so I went to run some errands and then I went to pick up um some cupcakes because I made the cake, but I don't have experience in baking, you know. Like I've baked a cake before for my family, I've also done um what's it called again cheesecakes but that doesn't include baking so i just thought i, I want to make my fiance a cake you know but i'm not experienced so i thought i'll just buy cupcakes from someone who has the experience like who bakes as they like it's their job they bake so they'll taste nice if mine doesn't taste good we have a plan b kind of thing so i uh, i there's a picture and i'll insert the picture here i wanted cupcakes like these okay so i contacted a few like three people okay and i was like can you do this um and they all said yeah so and i just so then i just asked um each person what's your price like how much do you charge um so i just compared between the prices they were all pretty much the same there was only like one was like a pound cheaper but it was pretty much all the same which was 25 pounds so <sighs> i'm quite frustrated i can't lie to you um, so what happened was I went to pick up these cakes that I ordered maybe two because I knew that I was going to do this graduation party ages ago, literally ages ago, like before Eid, before, um, yeah, way before Eid, um, like ages ago, when did I plan this? I don't even know, you know, I literally planned it ages ago, like a few months ago, because I knew, like, I knew he's going to graduate. Um, he got his results, alhamdulillah, yesterday. And he passed everything, and he's so happy. So, yeah. Um, but I knew that I wanted to do a graduation party for him anyways. So, I had planned it. I contacted, contacted her ages ago. Like, when I say ages ago, literally, like, I'll probably get, they'll probably just get, like, a screenshot to show when I first contacted her. So, I contacted, contacted her ages ago. I was like, so, do you know how to make this? She said yes we continued on with the prices and agreeing with everything and she seemed like a really really nice girl and i first found her because she was making um cookies for yemen so wait that's her messaging me she sent me a voice note but i'll listen to it later she um said she contacted me to share her page on Inst share something her post on instagram and it before she even asked me to i was going to share it anyways because i just found it so like amazing that she was making cookies and the profit she was mashallah um giving it to yemen you know to help the crisis in yemen and that really attracted me so i was like she's a she seems like a really nice person i, I want to support her business so that's what why i first um ordered from her and i had seen pictures wow. on her instagram on um like just how her cupcakes looked and they look really really nice i can't lie they look yummy um, so that's why I asked her, can you make them? She proceeded to say, yes, she can make them. So she made the cupcakes. I paid her the deposit. And then three days before, three days before, um, 
I received the cupcakes, she asked me to pay the rest of them. So I paid the rest of it three days before without receiving them, which you don't usually do, but it's fine. I didn't really, I was like, okay, cool. So I just paid her the rest three days before and I went to pick up the cupcakes and they look nothing like the picture I had sent her, okay? And what frustrated me is she didn't come and say, oh, I'm sorry, these don't look, they're, not, they're probably not what you expected kind of thing. She stayed quiet about it and handed me, just like, just handed me the cupcakes and didn't say anything. So I took them and I could see them straight away because it's like a clear thing. But I just felt a bit shy and like, I just felt too polite. So I was like, oh, thank you so much. And blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, bye. And I just like, walked off and I'm looking at them and I called my friend straight away. I was like, Manoa, these are not the cupcakes that I ordered. So I messaged, and then my friend's like to me, oh my God. And then I'm like, I'll message her when I get home. I'll message the girl when I get home and tell her like, this isn't what I ordered basically. This is, this is not what I paid for. I sent a picture. I was like to my friend, do you want to see them? She's like, I'll see them when I get to yours. And I was like, um, and I, I kept talking about them and I was like, and then she was like, you know what, just send me a picture of them. So I sent her a picture of it and um, she saw them and she was like, Sarah, what the hell? Like, this is not what you were showing me because I showed her what I wanted and I literally showed my whole family the cupcakes I'm getting him. And they're not the same whatsoever. Like, they're literally, they have nothing to do with each other. I don't know, let me insert here, if I didn't already, the cupcakes, she's still messaging me. I think she feels bad, but... I'm not saying she's a bad person at all. I just want to have a rant because I'm frustrated because it's the same day. It's not like I can get an alternative kind of thing. So they don't, they just do not look alike whatsoever. Do you get what I mean? And it frustrates me that she literally handed them to me and didn't say anything, hoping that I would be like, oh, okay, that's fine. It's not fine. It, it really isn't. So I went on to message her saying um what did i say again i'll put up the screenshot anyways i went on to basically say to her like um hey like really politely i was like hey i just noticed that these cupcakes do not look anything like the picture i sent you and she was like um yeah like she knows she knows that they don't look anything like it and she was like yeah but um something to do with the, the mold she ordered a mold or something um for the scroll and the hat and it hasn't it hasn't arrived yet and she she said that apparently she only realized that they're not going to arrive yesterday but i have given you about two months i've told i've told you like two months or a month before i don't know how off i am i'm telling you my dates <laughs> my memory is a bit crap but i was planning this for ages okay so if i'm telling you that this is what i want okay even even if you only noticed yesterday, she apparently she only noticed yesterday night. But I'm sure you did not only notice that apparently she already ordered the mold, but she didn't realise that they're gonna arrive. She realised yesterday night that they're not gonna arrive in time, so she that she tried to do it by hand. I don't. That's not adding up for me because you can't just realise the night before that you can't do something. Do you get what I mean? I'm not saying the girl's a liar at all. She seems like a really nice person. I don't know her personally, but she just seems like a nice person. I am just so disappointed. Like, if you cannot do something, is like, if you can't do something, don't tell someone you can. I'm just disappointed. She should have told me. She should have told me from the beginning. I swear to you, I had three, like, cake artists in my DMs. I had asked them each about, like, you know, about each, like, just about the options they have flavors wise everything prices just to compare and see which one is more suitable for me i thought that she was because she stated that she could make the cupcakes and the thing is i'm sure the cupcakes I'm, i mean i'm not sure they taste nice i don't know i haven't tried them when i try them i'll let you know how they taste but even if the cupcakes taste really like my friend my mum was telling me oh it's okay maybe they taste really nice i was like maybe they taste really nice but I would be honest with you, I would prefer a wedding cake that looked nice and was dry on the inside than a wedding cake that looked bad and was moist on the inside. Do you get what I mean? Because in these special moments, my fiance is only gonna ever graduate this time, like from university, unless he goes on to do masters, which I doubt he will. But if 
you know do you get what i mean like he's graduated and it's his only probably graduation party that he's gonna have and i'm annoyed that the cupcakes that i thought do you get what i mean like i don't have any alter like i have an alternative i made a cake but i'm not a, a like i'm not a cake artist i'm not a baker my cake is probably hella dry <laughs> The, to be fair the decorations on my cake look really good i can't lie to you um they look better than those ones and i'm so frustrated and she then proceeded to lie to me to say that she's doing it by hand i know it's not by hand i'm not dumb that is made by a mold i'm not dumb i don't know who she thinks she's full like i'm not trying to bash the girl but this is this annoys me honesty annoys me when someone is not honest She's telling me she did it by hand. I know she didn't do this by hand because it's a mold. And I could probably pull up the mold on eBay or Amazon or something. Do you get what I mean? 100% that's, that's not made by, by hand. Because they each look the same. If she did it by hand, they won't. each one won't look exactly the same, number one. Number two, there's certain indents that I know she, couldn't, she didn't do by hand. Do you get what I mean? Um, do you know what? I don't, even know, I don't even need to explain how I know that it's a mold it's just obvious you guys could probably tell as well but guys i'm just frustrated and i'm sorry it's like 13 minutes now and i'm going on a rant on this but um it's gonna take a bulk of this vid like this vlog up but i just wanted to share my experience with you guys i don't know what she said i'm gonna go basically she ended up messaging me after but i didn't open it saying um what do you want to do in terms of money wise of course i want my money back but it's that's not even i don't even care about the money do you get what i mean it's 25 pounds i wanted nice cupcakes that's what i wanted and the thing is she told me i was like to her i literally just told her i would have appreciated the honesty you should have told me before you could not do it before you know prior to the event date she was like i understand and blah 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 even if she you know it's true and she only realized last night that she couldn't do it she should have told me last night that she could not do it because then it would it would have given me an option to tell her listen i don't want them anymore do you get what i mean but she decided to not give me that option and to just make the cupcakes my cat just walked in but yeah she decided to make that option for me and just do the cupcakes and just hope for the best kind of thing and that's I'm not happy guys i'm not happy at all but i'm gonna go read her messages again i need to take my off. mine's so hot but i need to see what she said i don't even like i don't want this to seem like i'm bashing her on being mean or whatever i'm not i'm just frustrated and i'm just trying to vent this out here i'm sure she's a nice girl i'm sure she didn't mean to i don't know i just don't like people being dishonest that really really annoys me really annoys me and i hate the fact that she didn't give me an option last night because she just made the option decision for me kind of thing and that frustrates me a bit but now that i've laid it all out i can go and message her and see if i can resolve this i'll get back to you guys in a bit okay so i'm back now just to update you on the conversation um the girl bless her like she's a student and she's just trying to make her like a side hustle and blah blah and this is why i wanted to support her she does she feels really really bad um but she feels really bad and i understand that um but this is the thing like she was saying how she was just repeating again this the fact that the mold and you know because of coronavirus deliveries and whatnot um and that apparently she ordered it last week and it still hasn't arrived and whatnot but i checked the dates when i placed the order with her it was the 17th of july today is the 7th of august that was exactly three weeks ago she shouldn't have been ordering things like that. If she knows she does not have something and she needs something, she should have ordered it before. I think it's just me personally. I expect a certain customer level of customer service. She's being really nice. I can't lie to you. She's messaged me multiple times. She's even asked me if, she, if I want a phone call. She feels really bad. Um, I just want her to understand where my frustration is. The fact that she didn't give me an option last night because I could have found an alternative from last. I, I could have woken up early gone to my local bakery been like guys you need to save me i need these cupcakes and they would have probably done it for me if they didn't do it for me i could have literally gone to asda like what i did for the cake that i made got some more fondant and made it myself do you get what i mean it's like i could do it myself because i did it i know i can do it so i could have just made mini ones and just got plain cupcakes from anywhere else 
or even asked her just make pink cupcakes i'll do the fondant myself by hand and the thing is for her telling me she can continue can't even speak english anymore she's consistently telling me that she's made this by hand this is not made by hand okay it's not made by hand it's not so by her telling me i tried i tried my best i know i'm sure she tried her best but that's not made by hand that is literally just you rolled out some fondant got the thing pressed it pulled it out stuck it on top that is what she did and she's trying to tell me i tried to do it by hand no you did not try and do it by hand who are you trying to fool not me okay but anyways the one I did was by hand, okay? And you can tell it's by hand because it's crap. I'm joking. I'm not even, I'm not an artist or anything. And then she's like to me, she's not going to refund me half the money. She would refund me only half the money. I mean, it is what it is. She can refund me half the money, but um, I mean, I'm going to take it, of course. But it's just like, I don't know, man. This is not what I ordered. It's just not what I ordered. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just annoyed because that's not what I ordered. I asked you, can you make this? You told me yes. Why are you telling me? You could have told me, no, I can't make it. There was three, two other people who told me they can make it. It's not that deep. I'm just frustrated, guys. Like, I'm sure her cupcakes taste nice. I don't know. They're half vanilla, half lotus. I hope that she did half of them vanilla and half of them lotus and not like half a cupcake vanilla, half a cupcake lotus. I just hope that that's what she did. But I'm not sure. Anyways, it's fine. It's honestly not the end of the world. I just wanted nice cupcakes to go with my crap cake that I made. So, um, because that was meant, these cupcakes were meant to be my plan B. So now that I don't have a plan B, what am I gonna do? I just hope that at least they taste nice. So that if my cupcake doesn't taste nice, my, my cupcake, my cake doesn't taste nice, they can just eat the cupcakes. The cake is done, it looks like that. Um, I just kept it in the fridge because it's so hot today. And there's the jellies, but I'll take that out all at the end. My nephew's here, he's so cute. So this is the table at the moment, I just thought I'd show it to you. This is gonna be on the other table. Um, but these are the favors, and that's the fruit. Uh, they're all covered in this, so I'm gonna remove it. That's the fruit platter that I made. And yeah. Hey guys, this is my outfit for today. It looks like this. And that's my nephew and my friend playing. <laughs> it's fine, girl. And yeah, it's cute. It's from ASOS. It was like £20. Um, it's quite low neck. I wore a vest underneath, but I'm not going to wear my headscarf anyways. I'm just putting it on for the purpose of the video. But yeah, I still have some stuff there. That's some leftover favours in the corner there. That has the bag and um, super drugs one. But um, yeah, I just have some leftover favors. But anyways, I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear with these. I think maybe just black shoes. Or like I'm at home, I might just stay in these, I don't know. But when I go out, definitely black shoes with this outfit, I think. Um, but yeah, those leftover favors, I might just take them to Abdul's friends um, when we go to Shisha after. But it's annoying, like one of them flopped me and I hope no more flop because I'm gonna be so annoyed. But anyways, I just wanted to show you my outfit. All right, guys, I'm going to vlog quickly, but basically the party's over. It was amazing. Um, I'm going to take Abdul to the surprise Shisha Cafe thing. Two of his friends are there. A lot of them couldn't make it. One of them had an accident. The other one's working late. Can't call in sick anymore, but we're making our way there now. Manuel's with me at the back. We've got some cupcakes and some favors to give to his friends. So yeah, see you soon. Hey guys.
guys it's actually the next day i'm sorry i didn't end up um what's that called finishing ending 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 the vlog yesterday um i was so tired and i just went home and slept because we kind of had the late night um after the party at home i took abdul to this like shisha cafe and i had like a, like his friends were there wow well, um his friends were there um and yeah and he was so surprised He's like what the hell how did you manage to like contact my friends and what i did was basically i stole um i mean one of them i already know like my mutual friends and um i mean me and abdul have mutual friends so one of them i already know him so it was easy to contact him the, the others i literally don't even know anyone that they know to get through to them so i had to still like take his phone and go through it and like get their number and you know take it basically and he's like how the hell do you do that like i didn't even realize anyways he was really really surprised he was so so happy bless him um and yeah he was really happy um the cupcakes let me rant about that now the cupcakes did not taste great at all okay apparently half of them are lotus half of them are vanilla i couldn't even taste the difference i'll be honest with you um there should be like a strong lotus taste in there in it but there was not okay that was number one number two the cream on top was like it had sugary bits which is not great the um, the cupcakes tasted not that great i'll be honest with you um there was no taste of lotus the cream was like it had bits in it um not bits it was like you know basically i made my cake basically it tasted a lot better i'll be honest with you um even like my mother-in-law and my family were all like even my fiance was like oh my god your taste your cake tastes so much better than the one that's ready made um and the reason why is because the cream so the cake is one thing the, the her cake tastes basic it's just the lotus didn't taste like lotus my cake wasn't dry which i, I, I maybe that's because i added a bit of fruits in the middle and overnight the moisture was able to soak up in the cake but my cake was not dry at all it tasted really really good it had a strong flavor of vanilla in it um my whipped cream i put a lot of vanilla in that extract in that one as well um but what i did was i whisked it like really really well because my colleague at work i remember asking how much she made she bought cupcakes and her icing tasted amazing and i was like so how the hell do you get that okay like that so she told me like the ratio i think i added a bit too much um butter in mine but it's okay um but you just need to keep keep on whisking it for it to be like super super fluffy if you get what i mean and then the icing sugar should be sift sift as sifted as well so that it's not you've got like you don't taste the little bits of like sugar if you get what i mean but in the ladies one you could taste the bits of sugar and i was just like what the hell it did not taste great but um i mean it is what it is everyone was like to me what the hell like i should have just made the cupcakes myself i made the cake myself so i don't know why i just didn't have the confidence i was like oh my god what if it, it flops you know let me have a plan b so that's why i did that but i was just so disappointed i mean she ended up giving me half of my money back but i mean to be fair that's not even good enough i'll be honest with you like i'm so so disappointed like she literally did not give me what i wanted do you get what i mean like she literally literally i sent her a photo of what i want and i told her can you do this and she said yeah i can do this and then she didn't give me what i wanted and then on top of it she's like oh as you know we don't i don't refund deposits well that's not my problem if you don't refund the deposits do you get me i couldn't be asked to argue with her to be honest with you because i was so busy that day i just couldn't be asked and it's only like i'm not gonna say it's only 12 pounds like i mean altogether it was, it was uh 25 pounds but it was like 12 pounds oh Abdul's coming. why is he coming down the stairs for anyways it was only 12 pound 50 so i was like forget it um she sent me back the other 12 pound 50 i just couldn't be asked to argue about it but i was so so disappointed 
in the quality of the cakes number one number two just the way she went about and tried to lie to me about she tried to do it by hand and she tried her best and i understand she tried her best but those cupcakes were not the the little thingies like the hat and the scroll were not made by hand they were also made by a mold but just not a 3d mold it's not what i asked for and she just gave it to me hoping for the best hoping for me to not complain about it and just go home which that's not fair and if you go about your business that way there will be no baraka in your business and that's just from oh, what the hell is wrong with these kids man but yeah it's just not a good way to go about your business it's trying like trying to trick people basically um not being on like i don't know i just think i will never she tried to tell me um let me get you some other stuff like now or whatever i was like no and she's like if you want to order something from me again i'll give you a discount blah blah, blah. i would not be ordering from her again and that's purely based on her dishonesty number one and number two just in general the disappointment like do you get why i'm i don't know it was just like if she was honest to me from the beginning honestly like it would have been fine but she was not honest to me throughout the whole thing and i do not appreciate that but anyways let's stop the rant there everyone already understands i'm disappointed <laughs> and i'm not happy with the cupcakes and it's just i should next time just have more you know like just believe in myself a bit more like i can do it and i did a big ass cake so that happened and it's okay other than that we had so much fun honestly it was such a nice surprise even my family had fun abdul's dad and mum had fun as well and i got him like the hat and the little gown thingy maybe i'll post i'll put some photos at the end just to show everyone the pictures and stuff but yeah i think um i'm just gonna end the vlog here um yeah there's not much other to say about it really that's it was, it was a good day in general basically um abdul's here anyways and he can how was the how was the graduation thingy the surprise really. graduation did you enjoy it it's the best really yeah. what was your favorite um part like favorite thing surprise at your house mm. what about like um the food the cakes the cake, the the cake. Amazing. It was a big, big surprise mm. but yeah basically he enjoyed it and it was all good it's on okay anyways i'm gonna end the vlog now and i will see you guys in the next video bye